Hi everybody, welcome to the channel for a tournament introduction video. So I took part to the French Inter Radio, as you might have known, um, which was a huge event in France and I'm going to give you some information be before we start with the battle report as I usually do on my channel. Some information about the tournament, biggest 9th age event of the year. We have two nine, 290 players attending, so that was amazing. Uh, if you don't know French Inter Radio, the I think the particularity or the yeah the special thing about this tournament is the fact that the painting score is really high in the final uh, note, uh, which basically pushes every player to bring a nice painted army. And you have some amazing army uh, at this French Interregio. Just to give you an idea, there are some players that come to this tournament just for the painting uh, painting podium at the end. They are painting project armies done only for this event. So this is definitely a huge event in the French community and I would say the most important in the French community. Uh, we have uh, obviously a lot of team from France and then some uh, neighbor countries who are also speaking French like us from Switzerland are also invited. Uh, so we have teams from Switzerland, Luxembourg and Belgium as well as many many uh, French teams. The cap is pretty high, 80 to 40. Basically, you need to reach a good amount of win to, to get a cap and secondary is so a primary objective the new name uh, We played the, the five that I wrote down. So all the center and all the target It was an hotfix one version. So we needed a 550 unit 550 points unit plus to be able to score or to be able to at least tie or score all the center and all the target. As you will see some of the list in the tournament I had a weakness of not getting enough of those units to be able to, to play for those secondary objectives, which is obviously uh, key here. It's something that changed in the version uh, Hotfix 2. And then we played Breakthrough, Spoil of War and Eden Agenda. I didn't like a lot Eden Agenda. I felt the secondary objective we are not that balanced, so we had a, a big mix. And obviously the people who took Trusted Advisor in the season pack was, I think, a big help to get a, a better primary objective in this case. My army list, couple of rows on it. So I decided to play the Vizier on the Bastion because it was a cheap version of a Bastion and, and I avoided to pay some stuff on my Vizier. Obviously it's very sensitive to shooting, but I felt uh, for the price it's a, it's a good choice. Uh, since then it got uh, nerfed heavily with a plus 60 point on the model, so <laughs> definitely got hurt here. Uh, then the two other characters are two mages. We have a Prophet General who is an Adept of Pyro on a Chariot. Uh, I like this model, it brings some counter charge option uh, and it's also a mage out of the unit which I like. I didn't like to have too many points in a, in a single unit. Then I played the Lama Suscola to have some, some buffs. Uh, my core remained like it was at ETC2 unit of Blunderbuss which were quite expensive but Blumberbus in this version were very powerful because they, they, they were always hitting on a 5 up. Uh, this has been odd fixing so that's over and they hit like they were before for small price reduction but in this version they were always hitting on 5 up which was obviously very powerful. Something else that was I spotted as being quite powerful and was nerfed since where the Academy Incarnate they took like plus 75 points per unit <laughs> so huge nerf on them. I would say a bit too much, <laughs> but uh, in, in this version they were really good for 490, 6 incarnate, uh, really good, uh, like a lot this unit and uh, I took two of them. Then I played the tree anointed with great weapon to bring some strength 7 to the list and have a flexible scoring unit with a banner of discipline, 5 vassal calf as a chaff and token provider. And then I finished the list with um, a nice discovery that I made towards the end of the list building, which was the infernal engine. And I put a rocket battery to get something to yeah, be threatening for the, for the big monsters. This is my uh, army on the presentation board. So if you remember last year, I've been taking part to the French Interregio with a homemade uh, presentation board, which was really awful, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it ended up being in the, in the trash can at the end of the tournament. So it was really awful. I really missed the project. And this year I ordered a presentation board done by a friend of mine who does an amazing painting job. And he made that uh, beautiful presentation board. Every part is like flexible with some uh, magnet under it. So it's also easy to, 
to, uh, to transport, so really great and I like the way my army looks on this presentation board. I've been doing some painting job, as you can see the Bastion has been improving, BSB here on top, you have the, the, mar the main chariot with some uh, spectral guy on top of it. Uh, I like the, the balance between the, the red, yellow colors and the blue, I think it fits good together and I could add some more um, yeah, spectral team to some of the miniatures, but really like the way the army looks like um, on the presentation board. And that was it for this small introduction. The next one would be the battle report. Here are my teammates. So I played together with, from left to right, Andy was playing uh, as usually Ivan Elf. Then we had Dimitri, who was also playing uh, Soren Enchant. Uh, Max Lichmeister was playing Vampire. Then we had Aurelien playing Kingdom of Ekiten, Xavier Demon, and myself, Infernal Dwarf. So that was our team for the French Interregio. Stay tuned. I will be back soon with the first battle report. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon on the channel. Goodbye.